Hi everybody, this is the Math 20-1 Trigonometry Review. This is question 31A. Uh, and it's very similar to question 30. I just gotta find the indicated side here. However, what we're gonna bump into here is that this is not a right angle triangle. So now what I gotta do is I gotta look at the information that I've given. Well, I know this angle right here, and I know this angle right here, and I know that side. Now, I have got a nice little angle and the side opposite it, okay? Because I've got the angle and the side opposite, that is an example of the sine law, okay? So now I can write 8.5 divided by the sine of 41 degrees, okay? That's, that's this ratio right here. Now notice it's not over 41, it's over the sine of 41. And that will be equivalent to the value of A over the sine of the angle opposite that. So this will be A over the sine of 73 degrees. Now, in this case right here, I've got this nice little proportion set up. So I would be very tempted to what we would call cross multiply here. Now I know some people aren't gonna like me using that terminology, but that's essentially what we're doing. We're multiplying across the equal sign. And now to isolate the A value, I would divide by the sine of 41 degrees. So 8.5 times the sine of 73 degrees over the sine of 41 degrees is gonna equal A. And now I just go to my calculator and evaluate that. So 8.5 times the sine 73 degrees, make sure you close your brackets after the 73, divided by the sine of 41, okay, is equal to, Okay, is equal to, a, well, does it say what to round it to? No, it doesn't say what to round it to. I'll just round it to the nearest tenth. So 12.4. That's the side that I'm looking for.